In order to solve a quadratic equation like this, it's useful to first try to factor. So I want factors of 6, numbers that multiply together to give me 6, and add to give together to give me a minus 5. 6 is divisible by either 1 times 6, or it can be written as 2 times 3. Now, of course, the positives aren't going to add up to the negative 5, but if we were to make this a negative 2 and a negative 3, when we multiply them, we still get positive 6, and when we add them, we get negative 5. So we can rewrite as a product of two binomials using the minus 2 and the minus 3. You can write it as x minus 2 times x minus 3. Now that's just another way, mathematically equivalent, to write x squared minus 5x plus 6. And this allows us to use the zero product property which tells us if the whole thing is zero, then either the first part is equal to zero, the x minus two, or the second part, the x minus three, is equal to zero. Because any number, if you multiply it by zero, you end up with zero. So let's explore those possibilities. x minus two is equal to zero if x itself is equal to two, because two minus two is zero. Or x could equal three, to make the second of binomial equal to zero. Three minus three is equal to zero. So these are my two possible solutions uh, for the quadratic equation. If I plug either of these values into x in my original equation, it'll make it true. For example, two squared is four minus five times two would be 10. Four minus 10 is negative six, plus six is zero. So if I plugged in three, I would also get an answer equal to zero. I did that by factoring, then using my zero product property. Hope that helps. Thank you.